Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So if you are in the market for a four-star buffer healer, then Chenxing the Observer is actually your girl. So um, more or less, you can still use her even if you're endgame. Um, she's very, very serviceable. She is very free to play. I'm going to show you guys how I built her over time. Um, she's also a very good add if you're a new player and if you're looking for a buffer and a healer then my god guys please do get her build her because she is by far the best value for a four star for free to play and for beginners so let's start off with her skills when she came out um she was the she was actually very fun to use uh, we actually used the standard skill before although right now it's it's a very fun mechanic i'll show you later and how it's going to be played for the standard skill but she is going to be valued more for her support skill so for her standard skill first this is heavenly law changing deploys one drop pod in designated location which repels surrounding targets and transforms into a thunder soldier after a brief delay the thunder soldier unleashes a electric shock every 2.5 seconds so these are kind of towers. These are kind of Tesla towers that deals electric shock. So attacking the closest target within range and ricocheting up to two targets. Dealing electrical damage up to three Thunder Soldiers can exist on the field at once. So this is a very, very nice. This used to be good in defending a position. Uh, because again, you could, you could, you could just uh, position them. Then they would do their job in electrifying enemies you know left and right so next up is the support skill which is going to be more talked about today because she will be valued more for her support since her standard skill doesn't the the dps the damage for that is not as impressive as it used to be but the standard skill is still of value so chen Xing deploys one drop pod at the designated location which repels surrounding targets and transforms into a purity mark after a brief delay the purity mark drops one talisman birth at its start as well as every five seconds which restores hp when picked up so this healing counts as changing healing and is affected by her healing bonus and is not affected by auxiliary unit healing so take note of this when you are equipping her with a logistic so take note also as well so purity mark throws a talisman birth to, to an operative on the field. So anywhere you go, even if you leave this um, drop pod, the healing will actually follow you wherever you go and you catch it eventually. And also after picking up the talisman birth, increases standard skill damage by 10% for 3 seconds. So this is the first buff. Take note that the buff is for standard skill damage damage okay and for her ultimate so changin deploys a thunder token at the designated location so this is basically a very very big uh, tesla coil repelling run targets and increasing the attack speed of surrounding thunder soldiers so if you have the thunder soldiers for your standard skill you deploy this then they help each other basically okay so with that said, the last one is going to be your Deus Alignment, Tactical Forebear. It increases Chen Xing's S Energy Recovery by 26%, increasing an additional 6% for each Alignment Index. So those are your skills. We, ho we so far have one buff for Standard Skill and the Support Skill of Chen Xing. And uh, let's, skip, uh, let's skip Weapon and Logistics first. Let's go to Neuronics. So Neuronics, obviously, guys, I'm full. She's very, very, very easy to, to farm. Um, the important thing here is the middle one and probably the standard skill. The middle one is your support skill, and the last one here is your ultimate skill. Take note, you will be valuing her more for her support. Okay, so for manifestation, before we go to logistics and weapon, so as I mentioned earlier, the first buff is in the support skill for the standard skill of an operative. So this one, M1, is drop pod, drop pod creates a Slayer Aura. 
So what, what this means is the support drop pod, increasing in skill damage by any operative in the area. So you have to be inside, basically. So an increase uh, skill damage of any operative in the area by 15%. So kind of similar to, to Enya in a way, but kind of different as well. So it's a 15% if you are within the drop pod within the Slayer aura. So next up is M2. So Purity's Mark Talisman. Birth, birth cooldown decreases to 3. M3 is actually another one. So after a deployed operative enters the Slayer, Slayer area, uh, Aura and stays within it for 3 seconds, skill damage increases by an extra 15%. So imagine that you have 15% for M1. You have now 15% for for M3. That's a total of an increase of this is this is skill damage. So this applies to your standard support and ultimate skill. But we're talking about standard skill because again the um, support skill has a buff for the standard skill. So um, basically all of these buffs M1 and M2 can be used by your active operative as long as uh, that operative is within the slayer aura of this girl the pot m4 is uh, decreased s energy uh, consumed by, by psychic to 30 percent but the last one is very important when changing is equipped with an electrical weapon this is where your decision comes into play, whether you're going to be equipping her with an electric we electrical weapon or not. So increases AOE of Slayer Aura by 50%. So the aura there that gives um, that gives uh, M M1, so as you can see here, Slayer Aura, gives uh, skill damage by 30, by 15, and another 15 here. So that AOE increases in size so that you could move more freely because the first one is kind of small. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting because you will be, you may build her in different ways. Let's start off with the weapon here. So as far as weapon is concerned, if you want to avail of the Slayer Aura 50% AOE, definitely you go with electrical damage and definitely you should go with odd alley cat so increases full squad u energy recovery by 50 percent this is already a tier 5 this gun is nice especially if you want to prioritize the u energy recovery of your active uh, operative but if you're not into this and if you want more buffs to the attack but you'll have to sacrifice the 50 the plus 50 percent for the slayer aura you can actually change into this one strawberry shortcake when equipped operative support skill is used deployed operative gains a bonus attack of 22 percent of the equipping operatives loadout attack for 15 seconds this is very very nice guys so again it really depends on you and how to play it how to play her but i'm giving you two options on how to build her both of these guns are actually four stars I won't be recommending any five stars for her because again, this build is a free to play build. Okay, going back. So right now we, we, we're we sticking with the Ad Ali Cat because we want the Slayer Aura to have 50% increase. Then we go to logistics. Technically, you can equip her with two types of logistics. The first one, this one is, is easier to farm, Sydney Squad. But this is a max U energy uh, type of build. So technically, you can use this one and you could use Odd Ali Cat for, again, a lot of energy recovery. So you can use this as support for an energy recovery team. This is going to be very good for you. The other option, if you're going to be building more on the healing because i've never talked about her healing this is going to be her logistic you have lux here so lux is a, a little bit harder to farm technically so with this you should have healing effect by 24 percent and the equip operative is not including 
Um, the equipping operative, not including auxiliary units, obtains Winter Fleece effect. Healing bonus increased up to 5%. Winter Fleece gains 1 stack per second, including while not deployed. Up to 10 stacks. Winter Fleece stacks will be consumed 2 seconds after equipping operative uses any skill, while equipping operative is using their ultimate skill. Winter Fleece stacks will remain at max. So, basically, this is going to be your best bet in terms of if you want to go and make her as a top-notch healer, definitely go with this. As far as the stats is concerned, definitely go with max HP because the healing of uh, Chen Xing, the Observer, is actually um, driven up by the max HP stat. Um, the other things that you might consider is alignment index, attack, or skill haste for the second skill. The bottom here should be healing bonus, but definitely right now I don't have any extra, you know, resources. So, but the third one here should be healing bonus. Same goes for this one. If this is going to be align index, index and attack, because um, that is all I have, basically the third one should be healing bonus to give at least a bump to the healing despite um, the stat here is not for healing because this is Sydney squad. So again, I would like you guys to eventually go with this one, Luck Squad, because this will keep her mainly, um, what do you call this, versatile in terms of her use. So she's a buffer, she's a healer as well. And for, let's, let's choose that default. For the weapon here, um, I want to go with this one. Increase full squad recovery because I want to widen the, sl the, the Slayer aura. You can actually change this to Strawberry Shortcake if you wish to, you know, add more attack bonuses or, or bonus attack stat to your active operative. So with that said, I'm going to stay with this one. Okay, so for this demo, we will do Haru for um, standard skill. And we do uh, only have one support here, and she's the only support, Chen Xing the Observer. So let us start. Okay, so when we're starting here, I'd like to showcase her first as an attacker. So I want to show you guys her standard skill. So you can actually create a triangle here. There you go. So the damage is, is okay. But this used to be, this used to be nice, nice in terms of damage. Right now, with the uh, power creep, um, the Tesla towers don't deal as much damage as you know, as we'd like them to. So as one goes down, you can actually create another one, and another one to create a trio. So as you let let us do, let us create um three, one, two, and three. Then do the ultimate for you guys. See, bigger damage with the ultimate tripod. The mother tripod is out. I'm just actually running around. You can actually defend with this uh, with this skill. Uh, in some of the content that we have It's actually fun. We used to do this before but now um, Again power creep is a thing. So let's go back to This girl here, so with that said I'm gonna create a What do you call this? Come here guys don't go there I'm gonna create this one. This is what I uh, mentioned. The the Slayer Aura. So if you stay long enough in the middle, basically you will have a big buff of plus, uh, what do you call this? Plus 30% for skill damage. So let's uh, create that again. It takes a while for you to, for that aura to come out. So make sure that you are 
you are ready or you deploy it wisely. So again, let's deploy that. Let's do shoot first. Okay, let's deploy the aura here. It takes a while to set up. And once it's set up, you can actually stay inside. As you can see, there's a big increase there after three seconds. There you go. So this is the hardest difficulty, guys. This is level 80. So again, create. Then stay in the middle. Don't go out. Don't go out. Okay. The cooldown is actually not acceptable not not really that fast but uh it's acceptable for a support skill that you need to reposition yourself uh, come here actually pierce through this guy There is a increase definitely after three seconds in terms of skill damage. There you go. It disappeared. I don't know why. I have to. to create that one again come here guys come here because I have my buffer here actually I almost forgot I still get heals and buffs I get heals and buffs whenever that comes to me. Here. There you go. I think we are almost up here. Don't have any ultimate right now, but... Uh, I think I'm good. As, he, as you can see, I'm camped out. Keep on healing while I'm being shot. Okay, so there you go, guys. I think we're done. So that is how you play her. Okay, final thoughts on Chen Sheng. So, um... Although she's free to play, four stars are her guns, but um, you do need to farm for your logistics. I don't think I can, rec I can recommend you a good enough um, purple rarity for your logistics, but definitely if you want to go with a healing effect, you go with Lux. If you want to go with more U energy recovery and max U energy full squad, then you go with this. Plus, you mix and match with the guns. So either you go with Odd Alley Cat or you go with Strawberry Shortcake for additional attack. So equal to 22% of e equipping operatives loadout attack for 15 seconds. So that is it, guys. So I hope this helped, um, you know, solidify your your, you know, your uh, what do you call this? If you're still thinking about using Chen Xing. She's a very, very solid four star. The best four star, hands down, that we have in this game. Um, by the way, I, I before I forget, um, again, choose healing bonus for the third stat. That's just, just a reminder to maximize her healing as well. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.